Romans 3.23, for everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. That's the lousy news. Isn't that just depressing? Like, wow, let's go home now and I'll just kind of, ugh. But that's, here's the good news. All right, here's the good news. And that we've all, most of all, have experienced. And, you know, we, we must have can't help but just praise God when you start reading this. I, I just got really excited personally uh, when I think about what God has done, what God has given us, how exciting, how amazing, how wondrous it is. Uh, Romans 1, 16 and 17. I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes, the Jew first and the Gentile. It's the power of salvation to everyone who believes, a different translation. Uh, this good news tells us how God makes us right in His sight. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scriptures say, it is through faith that a righteous person has life. Romans 3, 21 to 28. A lot of passages in Romans today. But here, this is a longer passage, but but a tremendous uh, affirmation of the righteous we, that God has given us. But now God has shown us a way to be made right with Him without keeping the requirements of the law, as was promised in the writings of Moses and the prophets long ago. We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. For everyone has sinned, we all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet, God freely and graciously declares that we are righteous. He did this through Jesus Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty of our sins. For God presented Jesus as a sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus Christ, Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. This sacrifice shows that God was being fair when he held back and did not punish those who sinned in times past. For he was looking ahead and including them and what he would do in this present time. God did this to demonstrate his righteousness, for he himself is fair and just, and he declares sinners to be right in his sight when they believe in Jesus. Can we boast then that we have done anything to be accepted by God? No, because our acquittal is not based on obeying the law, it is based on faith. So we are made right with God through faith and not by obeying the law.